Um, good afternoon. Thank you so much. So my name is Callie Muley Alexander, and I'm currently in my first year at Mount Holyoke College studying international relations with a focus on international peace and security. Currently, I'm working towards a German minor while simultaneously trying to master the ever-elusive French language. My love of languages began as a little girl when my mother would drop my siblings and me off at our babysitter, Rosie, who came from Bielefeld in Germany. Although it would be another 15 years before I began to piece together the phrases that sometimes leapt from Rosie's mouth in moments of frustration or surprise, years filled with her telling me simple words like nine when I wanted to eat a second donut or saying tschüss when my mother picked me up remain my earliest memories of encountering a foreign language. As I grew older and entered high school, I knew German was the language I wanted to focus on, and although it wasn't formally offered in a classroom setting, I was able to complete an introductory German course as an online student by working after school and on weekends. During this time, I also applied to and was accepted by the Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange Program to study as an exchange student for the 2014-2015 school year. I arrived in Berlin that fall with a year's worth of online German under my belt, and I was nervous, to say the least. Confusing similar words like Abfall and Abfell when trying to distinguish between a trash bucket and an apple, or Eichhornchen and Einhornchen when talking about a squirrel and not a unicorn, made for embarrassing but amusing anecdotes. However, through total immersion and constant interaction with with host siblings and friends, I was dreaming in German by December and conversing without translating by March. The highest compliment I ever received while studying abroad was when a friend of a friend turned to me and exclaimed in surprise, you're American? I thought you were from the Netherlands. <laughs> Living in Berlin allowed me the opportunity to expose myself to the politics of Germany and its ever-evolving role in international affairs, particularly the Syrian crisis. One day, my social studies class took a field trip to a refugee welcome facility in the southeast part of the city. There, I was able to meet and speak with a man who had arrived in Germany several months prior after leaving Damascus with his wife and two young daughters. We spoke to each other in German as he had forgotten most of his English, and I was shocked by the unimaginable hardships he had endured. Upon leaving the center later that afternoon, two thoughts crossed my mind. First, I questioned the U.S.'s current role in foreign affairs, especially its involvement in Syria, or lack thereof. Second, I reflected on how easily I had just communicated with a man whose native language was not German, like me. Learning German had opened up an entirely new world for me to interact with and a whole new cast of characters to learn from. At this point, I realized I wanted to continue learning new languages and experiencing the world, not solely as an English speaker, but rather as a polyglot. When I returned to the States a few months later, the already dire situation in Syria progressed, resulting in overwhelming numbers of refugees seeking aid in Europe. In 2016 alone, Germany received approximately 300,000 refugees. Wanting to help, but not knowing exactly where to start, I continued learning German in the hopes that through mastering a foreign language, I could again make connections with people I could not otherwise communicate with learn, and learn their stories and work to improve foreign relations. I have been learning French in anticipation of studying in Cameroon my junior year and am looking forward to taking another course this fall. I also plan on beginning Arabic, a language I hope to continue well into my career. My goal is to one day work with the United States Foreign Service and foster European, Middle Eastern, and U.S. relations. But of course, this day will come after applying for a Fulbright, the Peace Corps, graduate school, and maybe even law school. But there's still time to work out the details. I am ambitious, but ambition drives leaders forward and towards change. By exposing myself to as many diverse opportunities as I possibly can, I hope to become a more well-rounded citizen of the world. And by learning multiple languages, I hope to become sufficiently equipped to initiate crucial conversations concerning global understanding and security to encourage a safer world for future generations. Thank you.